Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz and today we're going to be doing a review of this thing, the Medium Mark III which is the old British Tier 3 medium tank um, which was removed with update 5.5 and I recently uh, decided to submit a ticket and get it back along with a couple of other vehicles, one of them being the Marder II. So yeah, I submitted a ticket to get back the Medium 3 because, um, well I just felt like I wanted back some of my old tanks that I never got the chance to buy back or never wanted to buy back at the time when they were removed. Um, and you can do that quite easily. I suggest that everyone who wants one of these vehicles back to do it as soon as possible. You just go um, to the Wargaming support and you navigate your way through Blitz to um, some like premium vehicle buyback or premium vehicle restoration I think. Um, and it's quite cheap to do as well. It's 25 gold for a tier 2 premium slash collector's vehicle, 50 gold for a tier 3 premium vehicle and so on and so on. The cost increases. There's a whole chart that they have uh, laying out how much it is. So yeah, it's not too much gold um, to actually get these things back and well, you know, once you've got them back you're not likely to get rid of them again. So yeah you might as well. So the medium three then. Um, it's a tank that I never thought I'd be happy to see again because of course I ground through it. You play like 10, you know, 12 battles in, in a tier three tank and then you get the tier four and then the tier four is where you start spending more and more time in, the, in uh, that tier. So I never really played much of the medium three after I got the Matilda, in fact I, I got rid of it as soon as I could because well it just wasn't particularly good. If uh, if it was still in the tech tree uh, and I was doing this review I would definitely not be recommending it. Um, and do I recommend it now in its uh, collector's vehicle state? No, not really. Um, <laughs> However, if you're like me and you suddenly got some nostalgia or, or you want to just collect your old tanks back again, um, then go ahead and get it back. Um, but enough of that, let's have a look at the stats then. So it's got 440 HP. It, I say it has got here 466, but I have got the equipment for the improved assembly for extra HP. But 440 HP is how much it normally has. And well, when we compare it to the Gross Tractor Krupp, uh, this has got, I think it's 450 without that HP. Uh, the Panzer III has got 440. The Panzer S35 has got 420. Um, let's have a look at something like the Cruiser, Cruiser 4, that's got 466 with the improved assembly. So it's sort of in the mid to mid upper um, in terms of HP. It's not as much as the Gross Tractor but it's still quite a lot of HP, which is good, because your armour is absolutely terrible. 14 mil all round on the turret, and 14, 9 and 9 for the hull. It really is not armoured. Anything will go through you, and anything will go through you. Anything can and well, rather, I should say. Um, yeah, no surprise there. Um, you just get cut through like a knife through hot butter. Um, and, well, you can't angle it, it's a very big target. If we have a look at something like, there's the Panzer III, there's the Panzer S35, there's the Gross Tractor, there's the Medium. The Gross Tractor is actually a slightly smaller profile <laughs> than this thing, and it's still quite a big tank. And it also has got paper-thin armour as well. As you can see, 14.8.8, 14.8.8. It's actually worse armoured on the turret than the Medium is. But then that's not saying much, because this thing, oh boy, has this thing not got any armour? Yeah, it, you're not going to get any bounces, and the only reason I suspect it has that much health is uh, to make up for the fact that it doesn't have any armour effective for its tier, or any tier. A Panzer II can go through this thing, and it's now a tier 1 tank. It, it, when, when we still had all of the tech tree tanks, and we still had things like high explosive shells and things at, at this tier, um mediums were a joy to, to spot because you would just shoot them with HE and something like a even at, at tier 2 I think it was the um, Cruiser 1 this thing had a howitzer on it and it was a 3 inch howitzer and firing HE you would do full damage to mediums which would be about half of these things HP it was very devastating because it just doesn't have any armor high explosive will rip right through it um, and yeah, it just does not have any armour at all. 253 metres view range, yeah, 
no one really cares about that. 40N kilometers per hour top speed, 16 degrees, 16 degrees um, kilometers per hour in reverse, average speed 28. It's not that fast. Power to weight as well, not that great either, 12.5. Decent tire traverse and all right hull traverse. It's got a very fast reversing tire, 41.72 degrees per second, and the hull traverse is 35.04 degrees per second, which is not too bad at all. With a 231 horsepower engine, although that is improved by how much? 11, yes. Yeah. So it's got a 220 horsepower engine. Um, and without the engine accelerator, the hull traverse would go down to something like three, 33 degrees per second. Um, but even so, not particularly fast. I mean, we have a look at the Gross Tractor. The Gross Tractor has actually got a better power to weight, better average speed, better hull and turret traverse. And it's also got a bigger gun, but the medium's got a decent gun on it. We have a look at something like the Seal Clubber's Dream of, of the Panzer III. That's got a far better power to weight, a far better average speed, and a far better hull and turret traverse. And it's also a medium tank. And then we have a look at something like the Cruiser, and again, the Cruiser, 25.6 power to weight, 41 average speed, and, would you believe it, better armoured. <laughs> and better all-round stats in terms of mobility. It really is not particularly mobile at all. It, it's not a particularly good tank, <laughs> if, if we're being honest here. Um, the only thing good about it, then, is the, is the gum. It's the six pounder. It's the same six pounder as you get on the Universal Carrier and also on the Medium Mark II at the tier below. And it's a good all round gun. 2.7 second aim time, pretty quick. Dispersion 0.34, which is eh. It's all right. It's it's to the it's to the more accurate end of the spectrum, um, with like 0.3 being laser like and 0.4 being just the Russian standard. Um, it's got a decent reload speed. Reload time's been cut in half in the jump up tier. Uh, instead of 8 seconds, it's now 4 seconds. 4.01 instead of 8.02, which is decent. Average pen is also pretty good as well. 65 average pen with uh, AP as the only round, and 60 average damage, which is fairly good stats as well. And it's also got 8 degrees of gun depression, so it's got some decent gun depression and, and alright elevation. Still not particularly great. Lots of tanks have got 20 or higher elevation. But even so, that's still all right. Um, and yeah, overall, it's just a pretty solid gun, um, just mounted on a not so solid tank. So yeah, a quick rundown so far. Then um, it's got absolutely no armor. The mobility is pretty poor, um, but it has a it has a pretty good gun and sort of average to high hit points for the tier. So. That's your basic rundown then. As for consumables, you've of course got your standard only you've only got two actually rather, so you've got uh, multi purpose and you've got engine power boost for twenty percent of engine power. So you might as well go ahead and bung both of those on. I mean you only have two consumable slots, you can't mount multi purpose twice, so you might as well have both. You never know when the second one might come in handy. Um, as for ammo, you do carry 80 rounds, um, and you're never likely to use up all of those rounds in a battle. So yeah, you can and I mean, it's not like you've got it's not like you've got a choice of ammo to take. It's literally a P and you're done. So yeah. Eighty rounds is plenty to see you through the battle. You're gonna want the gun rammer, extra get that reload time down. Um you could go with calibrated shells, but honestly it's just a waste. You might as well just go gun rammer. Um it doesn't really matter for these two, but I would say the improved assembly for the extra track durability. Uh, coated optics as well because you can be a sniper, but uh, you, there's two play styles really. You've either got being a sniper, or you could just be a tr traditional medium which doesn't have any armor, which is uh, just running around shooting at things, doing peekaboo. Because unlike in the medium two, you can kind of peekaboo with this because it's mounted sort of forward, forward facing to the hull. You can kind of peekaboo around corners. Um, you know, you'll still get penetrated once or twice, but it's far more effective than trying to do it in the medium too. So that that is one tactic to try and do here. Um, so yeah, your choice of really whatever those two you want, um, but it, again, depends on whether you're going to go for a sniper build or a regular medium build. But I would say coated optics. You're not. It's tier three. You're not going to have particularly advanced ta battlefield tactics or, or crew or um, sorry team. You know, team meshing at this tier. It's full of 
you know new players to the game and still clubbing Panzer threes. Um, but anyway. I'd say supercharge for the extra shell velocity and the uh, decrease the penetration over distance. You could go with enhanced gun lane drive, but honestly, I think supercharge is a better idea. Improved assembly, there's no point taking this. You'll get maybe another 2mm of armor, which won't stop anything. So that's just a waste if you go enhanced armor, so I would say definitely improved assembly. Then engine accelerator for the extra power to weight. You could, you might be looking at improved control, but you only get an extra 1 degrees over engine accelerator. Um, so, I mean, engine accelerator is just a better all-round pick in this case. Um, and then I would say refined gun goes from about 0.3738 accuracy to 0.34, which is far more accurate. So I would say refined gun. All overt stabs would be nice. Honestly, I, I think refined gun is going to be more useful. Uh, and then your choice of those two, um, and your choice of whatever the hell those two things are. So, overall then, it's not a particularly great tank. Um, the only thing good about it is the gun and arguably there are better better tanks at this tier or the tier below, namely the universal carrier, to mount these weapons on. Um, but it's still, you know, nostalgia. You know, I'm sure a lot of people played through the mediums in order to get to the Matilda. Um, and yeah, it's just not a particularly great tank, no, but for 50 gold to get it back, it, it you know, it's worth it just for the memes. Honestly, not many people are going to have the medium, uh, Mark III or Mark II, and they're not really going to be taking it out in the, into battle much, I should imagine. So, yeah, that's the overview of the medium three. I'll thank you all for watching, and goodbye.